today guys, uh, we're doing the vlog from Port Offer down at the Giants Causeway. plan today is to be here in time for sunset, so it's just probably under an hour to go until sunset, so what I'm just working on here is trying to get just a few interesting compositions, just waiting on the sun coming out, just to give us a little bit of side lighting here, and then what I'm going to do, maybe within about 15-20 minutes time, I'm actually going to head round this way so that I can get this giant sea stack in the image because the sun is setting over that way. So what I'm actually going to be doing is moving around and then shooting back this way here. But at the minute, as I say, I'm just trying to get a few nice long exposures and uh, the sea is, is quite rough around here, it's quite windy. So uh, hopefully you're going to be able to pick up the audio okay in this here. So just to talk very briefly about my settings, um, Again, I'm shooting on the Canon 5DS with the 16-35mm, the f4 lens. At the moment I've got the, the circular polarizer on and I've got a 0.9 Lee ND grad, a soft edge grad, just on the sky just to pull back a little bit of detail. And I've also popped on the little stopper and at the minute I'm getting roughly about a 10 or 13 second exposure at f11 shooting at ISO 50. Really what I want to have in the frame is the massive sea stack and really to make a, a real emphasis of it. So what I think I'm actually going to have to do is maybe try and get a little bit lower, um, just a little bit closer to the water's edge, so that I'm actually shooting up at the stack, which should hopefully just give it a very, very different perspective. So just to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what I'm actually shooting here. So this is the, the giant sea stack in the distance and have my shot set up if I just increase the exposure a little bit here. Just with the C stack up in the top, right hand corner up in the top, right hand third of the frame. And I'm just really timing it so that there's a lot more waves coming crashing in round so that we get a lovely, lovely white, the blurry water effect. And really what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give it another couple of minutes, just hope that we maybe get a little bit of a light just hitting the C stack from the left hand side because just at the minute it looks a little bit dull and a little bit flat. So what I've actually just done now is I swapped over my grad. So I actually don't have the, the 0.9 grad on anymore. I actually have put on a 1.2 just because I was finding there's a little bit of brightness just hanging over the horizon and I was finding that it was just clipping a little bit. So I've just put on the 1.2 which is it's holding it back a little bit more, but I'm probably going to have to just reduce my exposure a little bit. At the moment, it's 30 seconds at f11, so I'm going to just dial that back to 25 seconds. sun has actually gone in behind quite a thick blanket of cloud so we're actually getting some really nice light you can see back across next Donegal at the moment so what I might actually do is once this exposure is finished I don't reckon we're going to get any more side light in here so I may actually just move around this way and get myself into position for the actual sunset and basically just wait then and uh, get a really nice composition that I'm happy with um, yes, yeah, so the, the clouds actually look a lot stormier and a lot more moody back that direction, so fingers crossed we can maybe get enough of a gap to let the sun go down and hopefully then light them from underneath, which would be really cool. So guys, I've moved round just uh, to a slightly different angle of the, the sea stack here, but as you can see, uh, Conditions are pretty rough around here, to be honest. Um, I actually was a little bit closer there and I've had to move back. And to be honest, I'm dealing with quite a lot of spray and there's a few heavier, rougher looking waves coming in. So probably what I'm gonna to have to do is retreat a little bit. Maybe move a little bit further around and see if I can get something around there. But this is an absolutely amazing, amazing spot. Absolutely fantastic. There's quite a, an extreme 
difference in the dynamic range here. So what I'm probably going to have to do, even with the grads on, I'm probably going to have to bracket my exposures because I've got so much dark foreground here and the sky is still really, really, really bright looking back towards the Skerries and back towards Donegal. So, yeah, I might fire off a couple more here and then just move around, try and find maybe a slightly safer position here. The headland around here is absolutely amazing. One of the last vlogs I did, I actually shot from way up above there, way, way, way up at the top and saw the spot. Saw actually a couple of guys seemed to be doing some wild camping and kind of thought it would be a really good, good place to come to shoot a sunset. And uh, yeah, it is pretty cool. All I need to do now is just get maybe a slightly different composition from what I've had. And if I can't find anything around here, then what I'm going to do is move back around to where I was. Um, obviously keep an eye on the, the sea and on the tides. Um, and on the waves coming, coming in, but maybe just head right round there and wait it out and see how we get on. But do you know this doesn't look too shabby right here either. I think I'm going to have to grab a really quick shot of this. So basically, I'm waiting for that there to hopefully light up this here. It's just starting to dip below the clouds here. The clouds over on this side are already kind of taking on a lovely golden colour. I just need a little bit more light on that this headland. So at the minute my exposure is in around about 8 seconds. Um, I've taken off the little stopper, I've just put on a Lee 0.9 ND filter. And at the minute that's looking pretty good, 6 seconds at f11. just can't believe that this is what's going on behind me and it still hasn't come through so I'm just keeping keeping fingers crossed here because what I'm going to do is if this lights up that's the shot done happy days then I'm going to swing around and probably head down this way here and try and get something with this really cool headland in it as well because this was re really the reason that I came um, I've already photographed this way never from down below but I really, really do love this angle, but this was the shot that I'm after, so. Still about 17 minutes to go until sunset, so we've still got a little bit of time. I guess this is just where patience is key. So this is starting to get really frustrating because literally just a couple of seconds ago, I started to see my own shadow start to fall on the tripod, which thought happy days sun's coming out and it's just gone in again. Not good. Not good. So this is seriously getting frustrating because there's still more cloud back this way and it does actually seem like it's gonna... No, wait, wait. Even if I could just get it to light up a little bit of, of the kind of the coppery, orangey, reddy colours, I'd be pretty pleased with that. Is it coming? Is it coming? It's one of those things where there's actually some really nice light back facing west, but I'm kind of really, really, really stubborn now that I actually want to get this shot. So here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, happy days, happy, happy days, here we are, six seconds at f11, 
Yes, this is what I'm talking about now, guys. This is why we wait. This is why we wait. Look at that. Happy days. Woo! Happy, happy days. I'm just firing off exposures here. I've already manually focused the lens, so I don't have to worry about anything like that. I'm not even going to change the composition here because this is just so good. Uh, yeah, here we go, happy days. And the thing is, within a couple of minutes, this could be gone. What a difference this makes. What a difference this makes. Absolutely class. You cannot beat this kind of light. You just cannot beat this kind of light. One tip, if you want to improve your landscape photography, this is what you've got to wait on. This is what you've got to wait on, definitely. Most people, they make the mistake, and I do it quite a bit as well, is you get to a location, you're just frustrated, you get fed up waiting, but then when something like this happens, it pays off. You just gotta be a little bit patient. So you may be able to see this, I'm just gonna swing it around just to let you see. Happy days. What a difference a little bit of golden light makes. What a difference. So guys, I've moved back around here. Uh, to be honest, I'm not overly fussed on the shot here. And this was actually the shot that I came for. Um, what I'm really getting, I'm just getting too much black in the foreground and it's just not safe to go any closer because the waves have actually been coming up in quite close to the pool here so I'm not even going to risk it. Uh, this is just one of those times where you kind of have to be sensible because I think just some people out there are just complete idiots when it comes to this kind of thing and they'll do, just do anything to get the shot when really they probably shouldn't so anyway rant over. Uh, what I might do is just maybe move around this way a little bit and try and shoot back towards the stack, roughly from the same area as where I started. Because there's a few clouds over this way which might light up quite an interesting colour, so I might just head back around this way now. This is one of those moments where it's like, do I really want a chance to go down there for the shot? No, it's not worth it. No, definitely not. Okay, I'm happy enough, decision made. So pretty much back to where I started earlier this evening. And at the moment, just firing off a couple of long exposures. Exposure time is about 25 seconds at f11. I've still got the Lee 0.9 ND filter on, and I've also got the, the 1.2 ND grad. And yeah, probably push it to 30 seconds, I reckon. There's not an awful lot happening in the sky at the moment, so I'm only including a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit at the top of the frame, but I'm going to wait maybe another five minutes just to see if anything does happen to it. Yeah, looks pretty good, although there's not an awful lot of colour. Uh, probably would look really nice in a, as a black and white, but this is the kind of shot now that we're getting. Just a tiny little bit of clip in there, but that's minimal. Whenever you check the histogram, it looks pretty good. 
So yeah, that was my latest vlog from Port and Offer at the Giants Causeway. Thanks again to everybody who has been uh, subscribing and has been leaving comments on, on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And uh, well, if anybody does have any questions about the images or about camera settings or any of that kind of stuff, please do leave them in the comment and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Cheers.